Welcome to Tyana and we'll say no. Today I am with Kirk Adams at the North Carolina Aviation Museum and Hall of Fame. I could tell you about a couple of them. We have uh, here at the museum, we have a flip fire that was flown by Orville Wright. He was one of the inventors of airplanes and he actually was one of the first person to actually record a recorded flight here in North Carolina at Kitty Hawk. Can you explain what is this airplane? This is not an airplane. This is a torpedo that was used during World War II to actually sink the Japanese shipping. This, these type of torpedoes here sank over 5.3 million tons of Japanese ships and, and supply ships that were supplying the Japanese during World War II. So that's a torpedo. And this torpedo particularly belongs to the uh, submarine veterans. And they come and they leave it here at the museum so we can show it to people like you guys. And then they come and take it to parades periodically and they bring it back so we can show it to you folks again. And then on special holidays, they take it to parades. That's why it's on a big old float, big trailer like this. Is any of your family members a pilot? My, my grandfather was a pilot and he was in the Civil Air Patrol. He was a captain in the Civil Air Patrol. And then my father was a pilot and my self became a pilot later in life. I'm a pilot now. I've been a pilot for about seven years. So, do you have any information about all these planes, like what is over there? Well, I, I could tell you the best thing to do is you're going to want to come and visit our website, the, the North Carolina Aviation Museum Hall of Fame website, and we have what we call digital history on, on, the, on our website where you can see some of the books of, uh, that was written for the first transcontinental flight where they flew all the way across the continent. And uh, so I could tell you a lot, we could talk a lot about it for hours, but probably uh, Mr. Hodgins over here would eventually, uh, one of our other doses could probably tell you a little bit more about some of the aircraft than I can. And so, cause I, I've only been flying for about seven years. He's flown all his life. <laughs> Have you ever been in an airplane or take somebody in a private plane? Yes, I, I, I fly people. I'm not, I'm not rated to fly passengers, but for money, but if you just want to go for a ride with me, you can come with me and we'll go for a ride. And we can go to the beach and back. We go to the mountains. We like to just fly over over to uh, Carthage and eat at a little restaurant called the Pick and Pig. They've got a runway in, in the parking lot. You can just take off from this airport and land over there and have what we call a $100 burger. Because <laughs> that's about what it costs after you fly there to eat it. <laughs> And so they call it the $100 burger. So yeah, we, we, we can fly airplanes and you could even, uh, if you were flying with me, I'd even let you take the yoke and fly a little bit some yourself up there. You know, just hold it and hold the plane on course on the compass heading. Thank you for watching this video. Give this video a 
thumbs up, click that bell button, comment what's your favorite plane. Bye.